Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for choosing this lecture. The paper is INMOAD Inverse Modeling Multi-Objective Evolutionary Algorithm Based on Decomposition. The authors are me, Lucas Farias, and Aloysio Araújo. The paper has four sections. First, introduction, then proposal method, results, and some conclusions. So, let's start. A um, multi-objective optimization problem, MOP, can be defined by this equation. Well, here we have the solution X, that is an n-dimensional decision vector. Fx is an m-dimensional objective vector in the objective space. Omega determines the feasible region of the decision variables. And when we have more than three objectives, that is, m is more than three, we have the main objective optimization problem. To solve these MOPs, we have usually the MOEAs, Multi-Objective Objective Evolutionary Algorithm. We can classify these methods according to the selection approach, dominance, indicator, or decomposition. But there is another research line, a model-based evolutionary algorithms, and in 2015, this proposed the Inverse Modeling Multi-Objective Evolutionary Algorithm, IMMOEA. In this approach, is used a explicit probabilistic model uh, constructed from promising solutions. Why it is explicit? Because it is used the behavior of the problem to solve the problem. And this is different from the before methods. In this approach too, we have a mapping of the objective space in the decision space. Before methods, take the decision space to estimate the objective space, but here we make the inverse process. So if you are working in the objective space, the decision making process is easily because you have choose the solutions directly in the objective space. So this is a very nice solution, but the literature pointed this difficulties with this approach. First, no research using IMMOEA without Pareto-based selection approach to continuous MOP is proposed to the best of our knowledge. Secondly, IMMOEA and its variants are applied into MOPs with only two or three objectives. And third, Hong et al. point out that large-scale multi-objective optimization problems constitute a challenging area for inverse models. To handle test limitations, in this paper we propose the inverse modeling multi-objective evolutionary algorithm based on decomposition, IMMOAD. The contribution of this work is we have now an inverse model using decomposition in the selection process, and we have applied it to the large-scale optimization problems with multiple and many objectives. To validate it, we tested in we compared with six state-of-the-art MOEAs, the NSGA3, MOADGR, IMMOEA, RVEA, LSMOF, and 6 ns 3 cmas And the problem class is the LSMOPs 1 to 9, with 2 to 6 objectives and 200 to, 60, uh, to 600 decision variables. Well, so Let's present our proposal method. This is a high-level scheme of our proposal method, and we will consider each step of our algorithm. The first step is the initialization. In the initialization, we generate the population and the weight factors and some, par and some parameters. Well, uh, to generating weights, we adopt the simplex by Dust and Dennis. Most decomposition-based MOEAs use the method proposed by Dust and Dennis to systematically generate a set of fixed weight vectors, uniformly distributed over a unit simplex. So, let H be the number of divisions of each axis, totally n weight vectors, take this, this combination, and you can generate n weight vectors using this approach. Not that the original IM MOEA use the weight vectors in the uh, selection of the parent process, but our proposal method use the weight only in the selection of survivors. So we have some difference from the original approach. Well, the next step is the population partition. In the population partition, in the original IMMOEA, it used the weight vectors, but 
each weight vector have a group of solutions associated with that. And it uses the Euclidean distance to take the similarities of the solution to the weight vectors. And these weight vectors uh, have a group and the group is used to build the inverse models. In our approach, use the k-means to cluster the solutions. Why use, we use the k-means and not the weight vectors? Because if you have uniform solutions in the, in the space and you have uniform vectors, very well. But if you not have uniform solutions in the space, you can uh, make some drawbacks. So, for this case, it's interesting the use of k-means because the k-means doesn't constrain groups to the positioning of weight vectors. So, we take the groups. These groups is used for the next step, that is the build of the inverse models. The inverse models is used in the reproduction process to take the population. Well, in the class key approach, we have the decision space and we estimate the objective space, but inverse models, we have the inverse we have solutions in the objective space and we apply a regression process to take the solutions in the decision space. To make that, the, we use this equation. The multivariate inverse model is decomposed into a number of univariate regression, mo regression models where J is equal to 1, 2, M objectives and I is 1, 2, N where N is the population, is the group size. The probability P is an invariant model that represents the inverse mapping from objective Fj to the decision variable Xi, and epsilon is an error term. We suppose that epsilon is a normal distribution and can be captured by additive a Gaussian noise. It is the standard output of a trained Gaussian process, GP model. Each univariant model together with the error term is achieved using the GP. Well, now we have the solutions, the parents with the offsprings. We need now a selection step. And the next step is the global replacement. For this step, we adopt the decomposition approach of Chemachev. This approach is defined by this equation, where the objective is minimizing the Chemachev decomposition, taking the maximum or the worst value of this of this situation, where we have the weight vector lambda, the utopian objective vector z, that is the reference point, and the solution x. Well, uh, the global replacement requires two steps. Not as figure. Here we have uh, a solution, and the, the solution that is the xi, the parent, and a new solution, this is a red point. This solution uh, is very far from the from u parity, but it is a good solution for this region. So, when we have a new solution, we will take the decomposition approach for each weight vector, and the best value is the appropriate weight vector for this solution. This solution, and the solution will replace it if it is better than so uh, is better than in the neighborhood of this weight vector, and that is the and we make this for each solution in the new population. This is the global replacement. So, this is the approach. Uh, the validation. Firstly, experimental setup. We have tested in the LSMOP129. These problems have this PS, PS attribute, attributes and the parental front with these characteristics. Linear, 1 to 4, convex, for 5 to 8, and disconnected for LSMOP9. The settings for these problems is this. We have two to six objectives and a population size N, 100, 105, 104, 105, 132, and this number of generations, decision variables, and NK, NK equal to, equals to 5. NK is a parameter for the original paper, that is the quantity of components in each variable group. Right. For the MOEAs, our MOEAs were implemented within the PLAT-EMO, a MATLAB-based platform, and the parameters are recommended by the literature. And here is the parameters from the literature. Well, the performance metric is, is inverse generational distance and hypervolume. 
and the mean and the standard deviation of 30 runs with a Coxon rank sum test with a significance level of 5% is taken. The, symbol, the symbols plus, minus, and approximately indicates a defeat, a victory, and draw. So let's do the results. First, the MOPs. Here we have two and three objectives problems and we compare with four state of the art MOAs the MOADGR, IMMOA, LSMOF, S3CMEAES, and we note that in uh, highlighted the best result. So our proposal method have the seven cases with the best result and note that here uh, here that for MOADGR, we have 9 victories and 6 uh, defeats. In IMMOA, we have 12, 2, LSMOF, 12, 5, and the S3, CMAAS, 16, 2. And our proposal method is fine in disconnected problems and some convex cases and 3 cases of the linear case. Well, not bad. For many objective optimization problems. Uh, in this case, we tested for 4 to 6 objectives and compared with NSG A3, IMMOA, and RVEA. Note that we here we have 19 victories, 19 victories, and 14 victories. In RVEA case, we have 14 victories and 12 defeats. But in this case, the RVEA is better than in linear case, PFs. Pareto fronts and our method is better than in convex and, dis and disconnected Pareto fronts. Uh, comparing with the original method IMMOA, we note that our approach is be uh, the result indicates a better performance than the original method. That is interesting too. Uh, to take another perspective, we take a second metric that is the hypervolume results. So for MOPs, we note that we have more victories too. 9, 5, 11, 4, 10, 6, 14, 1. And for the main objectives, we have 17, 6, 17, 6, and 12, 12. Just in the RVA case, we have a draw. But in that case, we have better results in convex and disconnected, and RVA is better than in linear. So what is this case is that before we have one draw, now we have the three draw. So is similar but uh, in different cases uh, the methods are applied. So the conclusion. The proposed method IMMOAD is an inverse modeling multi-objective evolutionary algorithm based on decomposition for large-scale optimization with multiple or many objectives. This model uses a k-means scheme for clustering within the objective space and the selection criterion based on the global replacement to choose the most appropriate reference vector from the population. Its performance was competitive when compared with six state-of-the-art MOAs in most of the 45 LS MOPs with two to six objectives and different fitness landscape. So future research. First, adapting the weight vectors might improve the diversity of solutions over the evolutionary process, since the shape of the product front directly affects the performance of MOAs based on the composition. Secondly, parametric tuning can improve the performance too. And third, investigate other problem, problems class, like combinatorial, constrained, and real world. So, thank you very much.